hello welcome back to tarot time with andy this is my vibrational reading please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly good afternoon good evening and good day i would like to do a few cards throw some cards on putin first i want to ask it's an update here energy update is putin going to start a nuclear war is he going to start a nuclear war is putin going to start a nuclear war is Putin going to start a nuclear war? It's between a maybe and a no right now. It's looking like it's kind of going to the maybe area. So let's pull some cards. Putin going to war. He wants to start a nuclear war. Let's see if that will happen. What's going to happen? Is he going to start a nuclear war? Let's go with the horseshoe spread which is present position present desires unexpected and the future outcome future and future outcome so for starters we have death the death card that is the present position so he is looking to transform something i, I know it's not to end it uh, but this is definitely i would say for him a transformation next position is the present desires Present desires is he's losing his strength, with which is your devil energy coming out, uh, not being able to control yourself. So he actually gets off on losing his temper. Uh, I've said this before, negative fuel and lashing out is uh, more uh, fulfilling to his mindset, the people of his kind. Uh, they feed off it. They feed off the negative energy. When they put out negative energy, they like the reactions of others. So he's enjoying it. But I would say he's also... He's getting weak. He's getting weaker. He's not getting stronger. And then we have the next position here, the unexpected. The unexpected is the Queen of Wands in reverse. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, he has got a very bad temper, and it is domination. So he is going to continue. The next position is the unexpected. The unexpected is the King of Cups upright. So I would say this is someone who's enjoying what he's doing. He's not that lovable king but he thinks he's loved by everybody. He thinks he's loved, but really he's moody. So it's a moody king. Out of all the king, out of the two kings, this is the moody one. So he is super moody. So yes, out of the four kings, excuse me. So he is the moody one. So he's moody. He's feeling very domination. He's losing his inner strength. So the devil energy is coming out and there is a transformation. He might be thinking about death as well. So I might ask the pendulum about that. So that's one, two, three, four. The fifth card is the outcome, which is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So that is with the with that volcano right there uh, represents with the lightning bolt and all of that. This is this is problems coming ahead. He knows that everything's about to blow up literally, and he's waiting for more troubles. Uh, so it's not it's not a good position, and uh, so it is anger and mounting tensions. So anger and mounting tensions with the volcano, trying to hang on to his material goods, uh, but in trying to build up resources. So, but he's failing because it's in reverse here. So he's failing at getting those resources. He's losing more resources than what's coming in, which is creating that mounting tension and uh, stress. And he's losing, he's losing his support as well. And things aren't as abundant. And so, yeah, so it's looking like he's very angry. He's trying to keep it together. And maybe on what I mentioned. And we have here the Page of Cups subconsciously. So with the, with the Page of Cups, uh, this is in the reverse position. Um, that fish represents the subconscious making contact and inspiration but he's losing his inspiration. He's not able to tap into a subconscious mind uh, in the reverse position that this is in. He wants to escape. Uh, it's immaturity, and he also lacks creativity to think about doing things in a different way. So there's that. In the center of the deck, what do I have? I have here the emperor in the reverse position. So with the emperor in the reverse position, he's losing his grip. He's losing his grip, He's losing his ability to think subconsciously or, you know, have inspiration. Things are getting emotional. Uh, so he's getting depleted. He's getting depleted, but he's still trying to push on. 
And then we have here, what else is in the center of my deck here? I like to do this, is the moon in the upright position. So everything's coming to light. People are living in fear. Uh, there is madness. It's also the madness position. So he's kind of going, he's getting, he's going, he's getting more crazy and more mad, which is not good for anybody. And then we have this position here, death and being stuck. Uh, hope, hope is all destroyed. So due to his personal madness and the fact I have two death cards, I think he's, he's fearing for his life at this point in time that someone's going to take him out. He's afraid of assassination. And if he, and if they come for him, he's going to take himself out because I have two death cards. If he cannot change things into his favor here, uh, and thinking that everybody loves him. That's that grandiosity of the mind, you know, self-importance, omnipotence. He really thinks he's something else. Uh, he really thinks he's love, but he is losing this, this uh, excitement. It's a lot of negative news reaching uh, uh, across the globe. So it's a risk-taking risk card, but he's knowing that his risk is not paying off. Uh, it is about the, about willpower, and he is starting to lose his willpower. His willpower is tanking, as well as his interpersonal strength. So he is losing strength. He is losing the willpower. He's trying to garner resources. He's losing his resources. He thinks he's loved. He thinks he's adored. He needs to change the situation, but he's not going to be able to since that emperor's in reverse. That is the dominator. This is that daddy dearest card in, in, in the reverse position. So he's really toxic, really abusive. Um, he's, he's losing his material goods. He's re losing respect. Uh, in the upright, the emperor is, is the man of respect. He's not respected. So he's losing that ability to garner love from the Page of Cups. Page of Cups upright is a delightful surprise. Uh, that's that, you know, in your, you are tapped into your intuition. You're putting out positive news. Everything that's being said about him is negative. So he's getting really petulant, really angry, and total domination type position here. And things are going to come to light. And so he's becoming more mad, more crazy, more living in fear. His ego is being affected. And uh, the loyalty is questioning his maneuvers. And he is in a stuck position with this death in reverse. So he is, his hope is starting to tank. So when his hope tanks, he might get more, more vicious uh, because he doesn't want to lose. They cannot lose. With his mindset, they will not lose. So it's not looking super promising at this point. Um, you know, I had to check the energy because it is as things are coming in. Uh, tarot's not great for predictions. It's good for seeing where the energy is going, just so you know. In case you're unaware, that is really, truly what tarot is for, is where is it heading? And it can be day by day, you know, month by month. So uh, that's why this is kind of, he is losing some steam up. Uh, as far as his inner strength. So mentally, he is kind of crumbling, I would say. Uh, let's get some more <clears throat> on Putin. And his, um, how does he feel about Ukraine? How does he feel about Ukraine? Ukraine, how does he feel about Ukraine? He feels like their em emotional manipulation going on their path um, taking their own path and it's emotional manipulation and the queen of swords in reverse. So there's cruelty there. Uh, he's thinking that that's pity plays and so that they're using pity plays and emotional manipulation and that they're insecure uh, on the path of fighting him, taking this journey, taking this risk. And uh, so he feels it's manipulation. He feels they're, they're, they're ruthless and they're cruel because they're not listening to him uh, and that they're focused on themselves and they're they're facing a, a lot of cloudy days a lot of glo gloom because clouds and gray represents gloom so yes and he is losing you know he feels that they're losing their steam here with that king of cups in reverse so he doesn't think that um they are loved and uh they're not liked so he's got his own perception i would say and what else can I say with, uh, yeah, it's just emotional games. He thinks they are playing emotional games in the fight here. It's not a fighting card, but it is taking a risk card 
going on a new journey. It's that fool's path. And so they're on this fool's path fighting him, I would say, is how he feels about it. And so they're very self-referential, trying to save themselves and uh, sort of ego bound and, and facing gloom. And the passion is kind of being left behind. So he sees them as kind of manipulator, but I would say that is a projection of his own mind. Under the surface here, yep, he feels that the King of Cups, he knows subconsciously the president of Ukraine is loved. He, he wears his heart on his sleeve. People are loving him. He is, he is, an, you know, he is loved by all right now. And that's irritating him because he's not loved. So that's jealousy because he's not getting that love and fuel. So that's going to really enrage him. In the center of the deck, he feels that that um, Ukraine is going to have a Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which is they're basically they're going to fall, fall off their horse and they're going to fail. Consciously, that's what he's hoping for. That's what he wants to have happen. Uh, what else can I say? It is, it is, he's hoping they get lazy and that it's impractical to keep fighting and that for them to think that they can win is, win is nothing but, but a dream, you know, and a desire trying to take this opportunity and they're going to get unlucky. They're not going to get the material world gains they want and they're going to lose their energy, lose their steam. And it was, a, it was just a dream to fight them. So He's thinking that they're going to give up, basically. Yeah. So that's how, what I have. And let's get some more cards here on Putin. Putin's desires. Putin's desires. We have here the letter and knowledge. The book of knowledge. So he's get, he, is, he is doing some exchanges and trying to probably learn new ways of doing things with the book. Uh, what else? The book represents, let me see, I'm going to look at my cheat list here. Mm, the book. Well, a book represents finding new ways to do things. It is about educating yourself. So he could be looking for new ways to fight. And he's in communication. He's in written communication. He has fear. He's, he's very fearful. And he knows he's facing cloudy days. And then in the center of the deck, what do I have here? A new lease on life. He's thinking he's giving them Ukraine a new lease on life and that they are going to face cloudy days. And I'm just going to keep, you know, this is transmitting information. So a lot of information is going back and forth, trying to new, learn new things. Uh, so that would be probably to fight. And then I have here also in the center of the deck, we have the birds, which is just short conversation. So very short conversations when they do it. Not long because he's probably too paranoid to do that. So he keeps it real brief. Let's get some more on Putin. Putin's energy and his current mindset. Current mindset. Putin's current mindset. He's hoping for sudden wealth on this journey. And he is focused on the child. That is uh, joy. This is your inner child being triggered. Uh, this is... This is purity, innocence. So he wants to appear as though he's doing a good thing and that he's going to have the, all the material goods and wealth. Uh, the pinnacle energy is what this is, which is your physical body, loyalty, trustworthy, money status. So he's kind of hoping uh, that he can elevate the youth and cause this whole new journey and that, you know, he's just going to be able to provide that uh for himself, for his own children. He could be thinking of his own children here uh, and that they probably had to leave. And so he's just hoping for total material gains. This is all about money for him and for his legacy because since it's a pinnacle, it is also representing his energy, which is he's trying to increase his and make a positive legacy for himself. He thinks it's positive, but really it's sadistic. But in his mind, uh, it's, 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 it's what he needs to do. So his perceptions are way off, I would say, but he's thinking he's going to help uh, build probably the youth up uh, when he's all said and done is how I can feel about this. Yeah, he's, he's twisted. He's very twisted. Let's get some on that inner child. That inner child, we got here the page of swords with it. The page of swords is a player card. It's restless energy and it is a new idea and a new mental adventure. So he's thinking that the kids or the younger child, child, that inner child can go on new adventures once all the money's in and, uh, you know, that restless energy of the child can go out and 
put out positive messages about him because it's a page of swords. So that's putting out a, um, you know, putting out this, this energy of truth. He thinks it's truth. The sword's up and that they will, you know, that they will be curious about the situation later in life, this curiosity with, with this card. And, you know, it's, it's total player. It's also the spy card. So he might be trying to use younger generations to spy for him. Uh, so that is definitely the spy, the spy curiosity. Uh, it's mental energy. So he wants, he likes youth using up their mental energy for his, for his benefit and speak positive and put out positive messages about him. So he's using flying monkeys, I would say. And that is like a tertiary source, a, th you know, third wheel uh, down the line, uh, doing, doing his bidding for him and using youth for his bidding and hoping that even his own children say positive things about him. And he wants positive things said about him and that he is wealthy and he's got it all and he did it and he succeeded on this journey. So he's hell bent on being the winner. He has to be the winner. They do not want to lose. So that is how I see that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.